Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing an update on the challenge that I have been doing for the last three or four years now. Um, 2021 is when I started it. I started it in July of 2021. I do these yearly updates every July and my spreadsheet tells me my last update I filmed was on the 3rd of July 2023. Today is the 4th, it is actually my birthday. This is officially the first video of me as a 33 year old person. 18 years old plus 15, as I usually like to say. This last year has probably been my least active in this project. And that's simply just because I have not been wearing makeup as regularly. So throughout this year, I've only worked on two palettes in this challenge. Actually, I actually haven't told you what this challenge is yet, have I? Oops, that's, that's really bad of me. This challenge is basically me using every single eyeshadow in my collection, going from the oldest to newest, and every single eyeshadow I've randomised a number between one and ten uses for me to use, and I have been doing this since July 2021. We are not even halfway through my collection, so we've got a long way to go, and this last year I've only worked on these two eyeshadows. And this eyeshadow palette, actually, I started before my last update. I started this in May of 2023. And I only just finished it in June. So it's it took me 11 months to get through this. And that's simply because I had a lot of high numbers. I don't wear makeup every single day. And just life happens. I also did go away a couple of times within this period and I didn't take this with me because the lid is broken and I have like trust issues. Let me walk you through it. So we started this past year from July 2023, the 3rd of July. We started this year working on chrome, which is this shade here. So at the beginning of the year, so we'd only worked on before chrome, the first five eyeshadows, which is why you can see it's taking me so long because there are how many eyeshadows in this? 8, 16, 24, 32 eyeshadows in here. It's quite a big palette when you think about it. So let's go through the uses. So we used chrome eight times, cork eight times, stone one time, we used this shade here, which is called Cool, eight times, Sand two times, Fawn eight times, Muse six times, Warm two times, Mud Leather, these two eyeshadows I used ten times each. Um, we've got Smoke, which I used eight times. We have Antique is 10 times, Nut 6 times, Taupe 7 times, and Rosewood six to, uh, five, 5 times even. So this took me up until the end of 2023. And then in 2024, we have Rust, which took uh, 8 uses. Bear was 5 uses. Olden was 8 uses. Charcoal, 7 uses. We have soft nine uses, oat three uses, bark one use, warm four uses, burnt five uses, and then the last three we have earth, carbon, and wood. We use them only one time each, and so that took me from the start when I actually started rolling this one in and worked on this one, the very first one. That was the first of May. 2023 up until the 27th of April oh okay it wasn't in June the 27th of April is when I rolled this out so that did take me still 11 months that one is complete it's gonna be another while until I get my next big palette we've got a few more big palettes coming along obviously you guys are probably aware that I have like 120 eyeshadow palette so that's going to take me a long while to get to but I think coming up this year we're going to have a lot of different items to work on which is 
which is good. We're going to have a little bit more than just two items. So the, the other item that I've worked on this past year is this one. This is my The Blush Nudes by Maybelline New York. And I started this obviously in April. And so far we have worked on all of the top row. These eyeshadows don't have shade names. Um, but we use number one, the one time. We use the second shade seven times, third shade two times, fourth shade ten times, five shade, the fifth shade five times, and the sixth shade three times. And we're currently working on the seventh shade right now. And we are at the four uses and we've got a total of eight uses to go until we hit that goal. And then I'll be working on the rest of these as well. Um, they aren't actually super high, they're kind of more durable apart from this one which has got the, the 10 uses in it. But yeah, um, again I was started working on this in April and I am now in July and I've only done half this palette. So you can see how slow it takes me to get through an item. But looking at my spreadsheet, which I have been doing whilst I was reading out those numbers, sorry. Um, we do have... Um, another palette which is like 12 use it, 12 items in it then we've got a couple of things that are a lot smaller we've got like a palette of four we've got a palette of three we've got an item that's just like a single item um a couple of those actually we've got another item that is probably bigger it makes it more exciting for you because i feel like it's a bit of a bummer me mentioning what these items are and you guys only seeing that i've worked on two eyeshadows but two eyeshadow palettes but then when you think about it i am of course also working on other challenges um i do try as hard as i can to work on that select shade every single time i wear makeup so today that seventh eyeshadow i'm working underneath my eyes actually um just so i can have it on my face but yeah i am i'm tr definitely trying my hardest to have them on every single day when i wear makeup so yeah that is it that is my short and sweet update um let's see how far we get this next year we've got a long way to go as I mentioned I am nowhere near halfway through this I this project actually we've got so many to get through it's insane which I kind of like I quite like I quite like that it's taking me such a long time but I'm also kind of intrigued to see how long it takes me to get through every single eyeshadow in my collection um, of course, along the way, I may finish eyeshadows before I reach them, which is going to be amazing. So that will definitely shorten this challenge. That's already happened, actually. There's already, I think, a couple of eyeshadows that I have decluttered. And there's also an eyeshadow that I've completely finished, which are in items coming up in the future. So thinking that I'm going to get through all these eyeshadows and then getting to them and realising that, oh, I've already finished that eyeshadow. That's quite therapeutic um so far that's happened once in my collection where i have already finished an eyeshadow and had to work on it so we'll see we'll see how it goes but yeah this is this is it this has been my third year during this i guess so onwards to the fourth year i'm doing this i love this project i think it's quite fun to kind of like actually use every single eyeshadow that you own because you definitely can use eyeshadow palettes and disregard or ignore eyeshadows that are in that said palette which is why I wanted to start doing this project because I was like skipping a lot of eyeshadow um, like some of my collection are like half my age they are like over 16 17 maybe even 18 years old so that's quite crazy when you think about it so i definitely think i will be doing this challenge for a while and that's okay it, it kind of depends i guess really on the numbers that are randomized i randomized them on my spreadsheet and then i locked them in hard coded it so they didn't change every single time you open the spreadsheet so they are locked and loaded so i've got them 
all sorted for my entire collection coming up and so I basically just tick it off every single time I work on it and I make sure I update my spreadsheet every single time I wear makeup and I use that item to make sure that I don't miss it and to make sure that the usage has been recorded. I am gonna go, I actually need to go to my parents now, it's now half past six and so I probably need to head on over to my parents. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video, which is gonna be my Panda palette update. And then next week, I think I'll be posting part two of my vlog and then something else that I haven't decided what I'm gonna post yet because uh, I am doing like an ongoing vlog at the moment and I'm just gonna post them whenever I feel like I need to or want to or have a space that they can go into. And I wanna do more vlogging this year, so that, that is my aim. And there we go, that's my update. I'll see you guys in my next one. Like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, and if you're wondering, <laughs> I'm leaning towards the side because I'm leaning on the table, which is right here, because uh, I can't sit up straight, apparently. Anyway, bye guys.